Let me tell you about the three ways that you can approach being a solopreneur. I've been full-time solopreneur since 2009. I have coached at least hundreds of people, probably thousands by this point, and I've noticed three ways of approaching business. One way, which most service providers start with, is just to wait to respond. Like you are you know, overwhelmed with all the things it takes you to start a business, so you just don't take enough action and you're waiting for the universe to see that you're a good person and send you enough client leads. Well, how is that going? Most of us have experienced that and know, well, I think the universe actually is asking me to take more action than I'm doing now or to take the right action. So what happens then is we go to the second way, which is all the way to the upper, the opposite end of the spectrum, which I'm going to call funnel hustling. What does that mean? So the funnel hustling method is usually you need clients and so you start trying to figure out marketing and you come across these people who promise you the stars and the moon. Just pay them all this money and they will set you up with a marketing funnel that will get you all the clients that you need and you know, but you have to pay them all this money. Uh, you know, and the funnel that they help you set up feels inauthentic to you. Right? It doesn't feel like your voice and, it, and if, it doesn't feel like the, the way you treat people usually. But they tell you, listen, you have to do it. Everyone does it this way. This is how you get clients. You just sit back, do it this way, and then you'll get clients. And then what happens? For those of you who've done it that way, it usually doesn't work. And even if it does work, you'll get a client here, you'll get a client there. And you're like, well, that was an expensive lesson. It, it didn't it didn't increase my my authenticity and my authentic confidence number one and number two it I feel like I have lowered my reputation with my community with my audience so then hopefully at some point you'll discover the middle way and that's the way that I try to teach which is the way of authentic business so it's not wait to respond and universe, please see me as a good person and send me clients. And it's not, or, or please dear network, I'm a good person, send me clients and just kind of hoping. And then it's not the opposite end, which is to use sales funnels, marketing pipelines, sales pipelines, marketing funnels to, to you know, manipulate a bunch of people supposedly into becoming clients, very expensive lesson that erodes your credibility over time and erodes your conscience, your sense of authenticity. And then the middle way, which I think is the path towards marketing enlightenment. It's kind of like spiritual enlightenment is kind of where you, you might say you don't give a damn about what other people think about you. And on the other hand, at the same time, you're, you care deeply about the, the, um, benefit of every human being or every sentient being you care deeply it, it, you know in everyone's transformation and at the same time you don't give a damn what people think about you right like that's that's a pretty fair way to call enlightenment and I'll say the, the middle way of authentic business is like marketing enlightenment I'm not claiming to be enlightened but I'm just saying I'm on I'm I, I'm, I, I feel good about this pathway and the pathway is basically this to show up consistently in service to your creativity and to humanity and and through content and offers that are authentic and humbly offered and by doing so consistently you naturally grow your skills you grow your reputation with your community and of course you get clients sustainably and easier and easier over the years as i've discovered so that's why I feel like it's marketing enlightenment. It's supposed to get easier and easier or feel less and less suffering over the years. But the reason why so many of us don't choose the middle way is because the funnel hustling way is so much more glamorous. It, it, it's very attractive and persuasive. That's the problem. That's why you spend all this money with them before you're you're almost broke and then you come to me, right? <laughs> Which is very sad for, for both of us, but it's that's what it is what it is. I don't try to persuade um, people to like, well, I mean, I, I speak passionately, but I don't do the kinds of tactics that most of that most of the funnel hustlers are doing to hoodwink you into into signing up for this or that. 
So the middle way takes patience. This is another reason why so many of us don't do it. It takes patience and it takes uh, faith in yourself, in your higher self, that it's faith in the universe that if you show up consistently in practice of your creativity in service to humanity through your content and through your offers humbly given, then you will get clients. So it takes, and in the beginning, it takes patience and faith. And you realize, wow, it really does work. Why? Because I'm getting better at my communications. And number two, therefore, I'm building a reputation. Because really, the bottom line is to get more clients, you need to be so good that they can't ignore you. It's like this is what people don't say enough. The marketers are saying, oh, you just have to use emotional manipulation. You know, it, what are their emotional drivers that get them to buy? That's just manipulation, right? It's like, no, no, no. You Fine, you could take emotional drivers and pain points, but let that inform your product itself and how good your product is. Product meaning your service or your program or your event or your coaching or your healing or whatever it is. You, 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 if you show up consistently through your content and offers, you become so good that they can't ignore you. That quote was from Steve Martin and then uh, Cal Newport wrote a book about that. Anyway, but this is the middle way that I have seen with evidence in my own business. It's really fulfilling and it really works better and better over the years. But you have to kind of trust it in the beginning, which most of you probably won't. And that's okay. You'll, you'll eventually discover it maybe on your own. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this is interesting. And uh, thank you for joining me. Always open to your comments and questions below. Thanks.